Hello guys, I'm going to show you new features of Pull Down It version 3 in Max. For those which doesn't know Pull Down It, it is a powerful discussion plugin able to fracture complex models in a fast and stable way. Let's start by creating a box in the viewport. Polygonal box. Move it up a little to make it fall in later. And let's shader the object. For this open side window, and here we have a new button, preview button. By clicking on it, you can see a cloud of points. These are the uh, shader points. You can increase the number of them, uh, modify the seed. You can uh, modify any shader param in preview mode to get a visual hint of what you are going to do. Let's shader the model and set edge faces to see the fragment clearly. Okay, our model is shader nicely in several fragments, but probably you want to add more fragments in different areas to improve the shader effect. For this, it's very easy with put on it. Just click on pre preview again. And this time select local shader style. So now we get a smaller uh, cloud of points in one of the corner of the model, and we can uh, move it to place the cloud uh, where we want to reshatter the model. We can modify the width, spreading the points out, uh, modify of course the number of fragments. Let's shader the model again. And here we are, we get more fragments in this corner and then combine perfectly with the fragments we did in the first shutter operation. And you can reshutter the model as many as you want. Let's say you decide you need more fragments in the front area. Well, no problem. Just open the window and uh, click on preview and now let's select a uh, radial shader style to get a different pattern uh, radial generates uh, the cloud in the shape of circles let's uh, place it in the middle of the model we come with three axes smaller medium and longest let's uh, select medium and place it uh, in the front face and we can modify the width of the point cloud, uh, number of frames. All shader patterns uh, can be visualized in the preview model to get a visual hint of how the model is going to uh, be shattered. Which level, increase it or make perfect circles. Okay. And uh, let's uh, shader the model. Uh, Satin is going to combine the older point with the new ones. So now we get our shader pattern in the front area and the fragment of the last shader operation. If you don't like the way it is shadered, just click on the new undo last button or undo all to uh, delete all the uh, fragments. So now we can make it again and uh, shader modify the way we shader the model, increase uh, the number of rings or the uh, number of fragments okay, to get a different pattern. Let increase the noise level and uh, the number of points uh, reduce width and let's shatter again. Okay, we have a new uh, pattern for shattering here which combines with the previous uh, fragment on the corner. And well, if you're happy with the result, it's time to go to dynamics for this open basic factor window. Click on create factor body. This is our selection of fragments. You can check them 
this pop up window, click on OK. The model turns orange, that means our factory body has been created. You can switch on a view to see the distribution of harness. And uh, let's go to compute dynamics for this. Uh, set the grid as ground to make it collide with the model. And by keys and play the uh, simulation, the model starts to factoring. Very well. Let's uh, check the result. Okay, it's uh, not bad, but probably you would like more fragments uh, in the corner of the model uh, when breaking. For this, uh, we can uh, improve the result with full on it very easily, just deleting. The factory body, open solid window again, click on preview, can set local cell style as before, have to select the model to open preview model. Okay. Now click on preview, we can see the point cloud again and uh, place the cloud where we want to uh, generate more uh, fragments and we have another option here because uh, we want to add uh, fragments in two different uh, locations. For this we can uh, do it with this parameter number of centers. We can set different centers for shattering and place them in different uh, locations. Okay? And now increasing the number of fragments, modifying the width of the shader pattern can do all of this with several centers at the same time. So now uh, let's shader. We have our point in the corner. Let's shader the model again. Okay, and here we are. We have our uh, corner shader in more fragments. So we can go again to uh, compute dynamics. For this, uh, as before, uh, can just open uh, basic practice window, click on create, click on OK, model turns orange, switch on special view, this is our new distribution of harness, and compute dynamics to see the new uh, outcome. Okay, now the model is breaking also in the corners of the top uh, area. Very nice. Let it finish. Okay, let's uh, check the uh, simulation. Model breaking. Pretty good. But as always, it's possible you want to improve uh, the result. For example, uh, making the thinner, making in a smaller fragments. You can do it by using advanced fracture. For this, uh, let's reset the simulation, switch on special view, and uh, better to set customize parameter to zero to see the weaker areas clearly the corners and the uh, thinner. Ok, let's uh, open PDI Advanced Factor window and here we can select this window a uh, cluster of fragments and set for them different uh, factor parameters. In this uh, panel here, cluster, this is completely new. Uh, you can uh, set different to parameter for each uh, group of fragments. So let, uh, for example, select the thinner area here in the viewport and uh, create a cluster for it. Okay, click on create cluster. Our cluster has been created. We can uh, set now a specific hardness. For it. So now set harness to zero to make it very weaker and uh, 
let's compute the simulation again with the cluster in the center. Okay, let's play the simulation again, and now the uh, center area should break very easily. Okay. Here we are uh, breaking very much easier than before. Let uh, it finish. Okay, and check the uh, result. Breaking much uh, in an easier way than before because we have created a cluster for the center uh, area. But looking at the uh, back of the model, those fragments here are also breaking very easily. Uh, maybe you like it, maybe not, but this is because when creating the cluster for the center, we have selected as well the uh, fragments in the real area. So if you want to fix it, that's no difficult with run it. Just uh, select our cluster and uh, delete it. Okay, because you can see here. The cluster includes the fragments also in the real area. So let's go to uh, to fix the issue. Let's go to delete this uh, cluster. Click on delete and create it again in a careful way. Just taking only the fragments in the front area. For this, uh, switch on a view uh, to see them clearly. Okay. Select them. It doesn't mind because I'm going to refine my selection later. But you can see how I have selected also the fragment in the back of the model. So now uh, set isolate selection, and here we are. Our uh, we have selected all the across the model so now we can do it carefully just selecting the front fragments okay create the cluster for them set hardness to zero and we can come back to a complete view of the of the model so let's compute again now with our cluster uh, fix it, switch on the self view and uh, start computing dynamics again. Okay, it is breaking as we wanted in the front area more fragments and let's check the real area to see if it um, the problem has been uh, fixed ok, let's start back the model to check the other side now here the model is now breaking in a couple of long cracks more naturally than before but let's say you don't want the real area uh, breaking until a specific frame. You can do it also using advanced fractures. For this, let's switch on the view and uh, select the fragments we don't want to break. Okay. Something is wrong here. Ah, okay. I forgot to reset the last uh, simulation. Now select the fragments. It works and click on create cluster. A new cluster is created and this time we are going to increase hardness a lot to make this cluster difficult uh, to break into dark uh, blue and uh, check the cable at frame and set the break frame to 80 so now our cluster shouldn't break until frame 80. We can add also some break energy with our uh, red to make the uh, breaking more violent. Okay, let's uh, compute again uh, the simulation. Now 
the uh, corner should break the channel area as well, but the red area shouldn't break until frame 80, according to our uh, cluster. Okay, uh, the red area isn't breaking, and now when we uh, simulation pass through frame 80, it starts to break. Okay, let's check the result. Going to the back area. Okay, it starts to break at a frame uh, 80 before the cluster stand. We can uh, extend the extrusion if we want at any moment. Okay and compute a few more frames ok, let's uh, check the uh, result ok, and the real area start to break at frame 80 as we uh, expect well, very nice, this is uh, our result, but you can see the fragments are to a stride, to polygonal. If you've done it, you can start the fragments more realistic using the jagginess deformer. Uh, for this, let uh, set uh, the fragments in a view where we can see clearly the uh, polygonal uh, faces to compare later after applying the jagginess modifier ok these are our faces planar faces and now let's open jagginess deformer select any of the fragment and click on add jagginess button now you can see quick the uh, twisted edges in the corners in the Central area. This is the effect of the jagged reformer. And when playing the simulation, our faces are not longer uh, straight, but rough faces, more realistic. Okay, and we can at any moment uh, modify this effect. Increasing a strand to make the faces very uh, rough or decreasing it. Okay, just select a value of one, I think is enough for uh, this object. Let's play back the final result with Jagginess applied. And now is a definitively more realistic look of the extrusion. You can see these green uh, faces here. This is the uh, PDI cut material. We can replace later with the one you prefer. As an example, let's replace it for uh, the color of this material for another more. Uh, uh, realistic color, but you can replace this material for the one you prefer. Okay, this is just an example. Let's play back the simulation final result with the uh, change in the material. And well, this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.